this is my final video for tonight because I have to work tomorrow so I'm going to bed after this video so this video is called missing the mark all right this will not be a long video I'm gonna explain what that means right, as an actor no matter what film or genre you are filming there are different types of marks and when you miss them shit goes wrong all right and by marks i'm not going into like your cue cards and your lines of when you learn how to talk and all that because that's like the most difficult part of acting is not missing that mark because that marks the most important you know you're, you're going against the character and the character's like saying i've come a very long way to kill you you should never take more than maybe two or three beats maybe two or three breaths and return. Well, I'm not the one that's gonna die. You're gonna die. So it's a damn shame that you think you're somebody special. I'm going to destroy you. Well, let's see if you've learned your lesson. Oh, I've learned my lesson. Let's do this. You know, you, you have marks and those line marks are very important. You have to learn your line marks. But for an action scene, it is very important to know where your character must stop when entering the scene. Because things go wrong. People get hurt by not paying attention to their marks. And you know, if you haven't made a movie, I can almost tell you, especially when you're making an action movie or a kung fu movie, that the fight scene is the... Um, difficult part of knowing where to stand and if you're the actor versus being the stuntman you know the stuntman if he misses his mark you know it's not gonna be as big a deal it's gonna be a big deal if he doesn't um, want to get hit it's gonna be a big deal because if he misses his mark and he actually gets hit by the actor it's kind of his own fault you know so when they tell you you're gonna stop at that little yellow X and when you're stopping at that yellow X I'm already in spinning motion because you're charging in. So when you get to the yellow X, you should already be going this way because I'm spinning kicking you in that direction. So my crescent kick, boom, it's spinning. So you should be going this way. When you hit that yellow X, you need to be going this way. Because you're going to work it out, but you, you're going to need to be going this way. All right? Because I'm this way, I'm kicking you, so you need to go in the direction of the kick. And since you don't have a speaking role, you're not going to run in and say something. You're just going to run in, and I'm going to throw the kick. When I throw the kick, you're supposed to roll with the kick so that the camera sees my foot brushing your face, even though I'm not touching you at all. Camera tricks are very important, which is why you cannot miss your mark. When you miss your mark, accidents happen. Don't they, Jay Diz? And um, I say that because I've been caught by a couple of times he missed the mark. But anyway, for the most part, when you miss your mark, it um, first it's not hard to reset because the mark's still there. But it's hard to reset if your actor can't recover from getting kicked in the face. So you have to do that. As the actor itself, as the star of the show, you damn sure can't miss your mark in a fight scene because you won. If you get hurt severely, you can't continue the action and you put people out of work for a few days until you actually recover. And two, if anything goes wrong, it stops production because the star can't get hurt on the set. You know, it's the same thing where they tell you um, if you're making this movie, while, while your downtime is, you need to have actual downtime. Don't go out and do anything stupid, you know, that kind of shit because that fucks up production. Now, as a person of experience of this, when I um, was making my films, I would tell people, I have two rules. Rule number one, I don't give a damn if you can act or not, just show up on time. Rule number two, remember rule number one, I don't give a damn if you can act or not, just show up. Don't do anything dumb. And rule number three, rule number three was, here's, here's the rules. If you drink alcohol or if you smoke weed, you do it from Sunday through Thursday. We film Saturday and Sunday. So after we're done filming Sunday, you can go smoke all the weed or drink all the alcohol you want. The days are yours until Friday. 
Friday. I need you well rested. I need you up and ready to go no later than 7.30, 8 o'clock. So by 9 o'clock, you're on the way here. 10 o'clock, we're filming. After we have a meeting on what we are actually going to shoot. All right? So that's generally how independent films work. The bigger productions have more elaborate schedules and things. And sometimes you go to work for two or three days and then you don't work at all. I need to be working all the damn time. But the big productions also have longer working hours. So, you know, if you're going to get into this business, be ready to work. The hardest part of being an actor is getting discovered. Trust me, I've been at this for 19 years. No one's looking at me. Thanks for watching. This is Comfort Havoc number two. B, C, and U.